What's going on, YouTube? Back with a little quick video. I was outside doing some journaling in my journal, and uh, I want to make a little quick video for y'all about influence. I'm realizing that I'm changing a lot just in the last two years. Well, I've changed a lot in the last two years, I would say. And I think it's because of influence. You know, different people are influencing me in my life. Uh, paradigm shifts are being broken at least every six months. And I think it's because I've been in nature a lot more. As you can see, look, at, look at behind me, all these rocks. Uh, I went through uh, a magical experience, right? Magical, uh, a very, what's the word? Uh, spiritual experience a couple, couple days ago. Um, I did what they call heart lighting. I think it's called heart lighting, where you're basically between two canyons and you're walking. I could walk on this like like pretty much one inch, you know, rope, or I can just hang there and just like use my hands to go across these canyons. But I'm between two canyons. I'm going across it, right, using my body, using my strength, and you know, the human brain will make all these excuses. But I was influenced, you know, all my coworkers just about tried it out. And I'm like, are you freaking serious? I'm not about to go 200, 300 feet, possibly fall to my death. But I trusted these people that I work with. Um, I trusted that they had the expertise. Um, and when they tied that rope, I ain't going to lie, it was a figure eight. They tied the rope. Boom, I see if it's tight. I'm like, okay, this is this is literally my my lifeline right here. Like, this, this is me. Like, I, I got to learn how to tie it. Boom, I tied it. Boom. And then I was just, I went out there, and I'll show y'all the video right here. So I went out there, I gave it a shot, and I, I just hung there. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing more liberating than just hanging there. Ah! And just getting a little stretch in between two canyons, getting rid of fear, getting rid of, you know, the influence of, you know, why am I doing it? Like, like your brain will, will tell you that, uh, like, all these excuses. Your parents, grandparents, people say, why are you doing this? Do you want to die? But once I was up there, I trusted the tools, I trusted the equipment, I had trust in, 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 in all of it, that it wasn't going to just collapse on me. And I would fall, to, literally, I could fall to my death. Boom, 300, 300 feet down this canyon. But that's one of the things about nature, right? Nature just is. It's not good or bad, right? People eat berries out here. And again, they aren't poisonous, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident there's probably berries around America. That if you eat, you're gonna lose your life. All right, nature is that serious. It doesn't care if you're black or white, it doesn't care if you're a president, right? Um, I have come across grizzly bears in Yellowstone. The grizzly bears don't care if you're if you're a president, if you're a prime minister. Like, oh look at this person, they're a president, they're a prime minister. I'm not gonna attack them. Doesn't give a fuck. That grizzly bear will go out there and ah! especially if it had a fresh kill, especially if it had like a you know, um, if it's just like if it has cubs, it doesn't care. It doesn't, but only we do that shit. Oh, this person is a prime minister, they're a president, they're a politician. Let, let's treat them differently than everybody else because they're special, because they're elite. You know, nature, that's the wonderful thing I'm, I'm learning about nature. It, it's humble yourself, humble thyself, and realize that nature can be very, uh, very vicious. And I'm learning all this stuff. When you're, when you're rooted in reality, I'm, looking, I'm around cactuses right now. And they're pointy. Ah, it's pointy over here. I got these cones. Like, you can study all this stuff and learn so much about the world. When I did trade a lot, I was trading currencies a couple years ago. There's something called the Fibonacci ratios, right? Nature has these, uh, these, these patterns. And study it. Go on YouTube, type in the Fibonacci ratios, all right? Fib, the, the Fib numbers, right? Type it in. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Um, there's these patterns in nature. And nature is just, it's just so perfect, right? So beautiful. All these trees and um, the rocks over here. Right, it rained a couple of days ago. We had, I mean, if you're caught in these, in these lakes, in these rivers over here, I mean, rivers, of course, you, you could be caught in flash floods. So again, you could be out there not understanding what is going on and caught in, in a flash flood and lose your life. That's it. All right, animals, we got mountain lions. I haven't seen them, of course, but they're like way up there, but. We got deer walking around here. We got turkeys. We got squirrels running around here. I see some, like at least three different birds flying around. I see spider webs over here. Like just just be aware of that. Um, when I was in school, right back in like grade school, 
I would have kids tell me I talk white. And that can influence you. Like I said, influence. All right, what do you mean I talk white? I went back home to my mom and said, Mom, this kid told me I talk white. I was like, Mom, how do you talk, how do you talk a color? How do you talk white, Mom? And then she explained to me racism. I like, I was like, racism? What the? Like, are you serious? People are literally fighting each other over color? <laughs> this is crazy to me. Um, they would say, like, if I had a friend of mine who was Caucasian, right? And he would dance, you know, like do hip hop. They'll be like, oh, he want to be black so bad. I'm like, how do you want to be black? Like, this makes no sense to me. Oh, my goodness. This makes absolutely no sense to me. Even when I was in Yellowstone two years ago. This one dude heard me speak Spanish a lot. He was like, bro, you want to be Spanish so bad. I said, are you fucking kidding me right now? Spanish is a tool. It's a language. Nobody monopolizes this language, bro. How do I want to be Spanish so bad? I said, I love being black, man. I like I said, I was born this way. I'm accepting who I am. I love who I am. Don't come around me with this bullshit, bro. Stop that bullshit, bro. Stop that shit, bro. I said, how do you, how do you, how do, how do I want to be Spanish so bad? Please let me know. Then he said they're looking stupid. I said, bro, I'm not doing it because I want to be negative, bro. I was like, we gotta stop this bullshit, bro. What do you mean I want to be Spanish so bad? Spanish is a tool. They speak Espanol in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, in Argentina, in Colombia, in Ecuador, in Spain, or in Spania. I said, stop that bullshit, bro. It's, it's, it's literally, we do this shit to our, we're influenced through our society to think of people in, you know, uh, in, Upper class, middle class, lower class, black, white, Russian, European, Chinese, but it's like, bro, we're homo sapiens. It's like we're, we're, it's, it's like, why are we doing this, man? You know, why are we doing this to ourselves? But we're influenced through our, our culture, through our families, through the television, through music rich and poor and all this stuff. It's just like, I'm not realizing this. So I want to get rid of this in the next couple of years uh, of this influence that has really, you know, halted my growth in life. You know, look, look beyond this, even this body right here. It's like, you ever, you ever seen the movie Avatar? And I believe his, his name is Sully, right? The main character. He has his brother Avatar. He takes that Avatar. He does it off. He turns it sideways. <laughs> then he goes inside the Avatar. But again, he takes his soul which again, remember he's in a wheelchair at the time? He takes that soul and goes into another avatar. I wanna, I wanna look at it from that level, right? Look beyond this, this body. People may see me, they may say, I'm an African American, I'm black. When I work this job, they say, fill out this I-9, what are you? Are you Caucasian? Are you Asian? I say, oh, I'm black and African American. So then I just circle it, but I was like, think beyond this, man. Think beyond this body. You are more than just this. You are a person with a soul inside. So I ain't right there, folks. Influence. Who is influencing you? Who is selling you something right now? We're all being sold something. All right, what are you being influenced by? Think about that, folks. I'm going to get back to writing, but I'll see you on my next video. Peace. This is beautiful. It's like art. I love this so much.